All right, people, here we are for another weekly challenge with these robots. We're going to play one of my favorite, I think a lot of your favorite uh, versions of this. We're playing a non-best hand match point tournament. So even though this hand, it looks like it might end up being a best hand one. We have a 12 count in third chair. Uh, the rest of this is going to be pretty random hands, and we're going to try to score the highest match point score, which means we might go for a little extra on the over trick side and those sorts of small details will matter more in this format than it would in that imp format. But let's just start with this one. We're going to open a heart in third chair and we see it goes two clubs past two hearts. Okay, so maybe this is the opponent's hands. Uh, when you see this, we, we can mouse over things and see what they're going to be, and this is helpful for you guys that are playing bridge, uh, that are relatively new and are playing on bridge base. It's a good way to kind of figure out what these bids are gonna mean. Double notice, um, you might think, oh, okay, can I show good hearts here? Well, you've already opened the bidding, and here, as you can see, it's gonna show 16 to 22 points, so extra values. Uh, anything else you do is just going to show extra values as well so you're just happy to be out of this auction and this is frequently what's going to happen when you don't have the best hand of the table every time right you're going to have to be at the mercy of your opponents and here it looks like left hand opponent over called two clubs naturally uh this player bid two hearts which should be a support showing bid for clubs and a good 10 or more points west here has suggested some spade length at least four and now it appears they found a spade fit which is not that great for us hopefully uh, they don't, okay, well, hopefully we're beating this game, right? So interesting thing we can know about this hand is partner is not looking at too much over there, right? And let's confirm that just with a little bit of math once this dummy comes down. So uh, in the East player's hand, we see 11 high card points, right? We have 12, that's 23. And left hand opponent has opened the bidding and, or excuse me, has overcalled and then driven to game opposite a Q bid. So let's give them, you know, about 14 points, which is about what they're showing to kind of force the game when partner's a past hand, right? They know their partner can't really have 12 or more points. The most they can have is 11. So we expect them to have at least 14. What does that leave for our partner? You guessed it, folks, not very much. So let's think about the rest of this hand. Um, we're going to win the king, first of all. So let's, let's just do that now. Uh, well, well, I guess we're not going to win the king. Wow, the, did the opponents miss a slam here? This is ridiculous. So they're void in diamonds to our left. And it looks like they have a 4-4 four, four spade fit. So do they have six clubs, four spades, and three hearts maybe? Um, that could be in the mix. It definitely looks like we're not taking a lot of tricks. We know left-hand opponent has the ace of hearts, unless they were bidding a lot of their shape when they found this fit. Um, uh, this is bad for us. They're going to rough out that uh, ace of diamonds on us and create a trick with the jack for another pitch. Check it out, folks. Good play by the robots here, if they do it. They will not necessarily... What's going on there? Oh, yeah, they took their roughs in their hand, uh, there we go. Okay, we can let that slide. Eight of hearts is enough. Unfortunately, partner is not. Partner, what What happened here, folks? Partner had the ace of hearts, and they underlet it at that point. <laughs> All right. I Consider me bamboozled by the robots, folks. I have no idea what just happened there. I kind of, once Lefty showed out of spades, I was a little bit confused for a second. But that, that makes sense. They were four, four or five, but... Folks, let's let's go to the results on this one. This is kind of crazy. So yeah, uh, you're not expecting Lefty to have that bad of a hand, but again, I, I guess uh, I referenced a little too late that their shape could have induced their call. But the the other thing is, it goes pass, pass a heart, two gloves, pass two hearts, two spades, pass three spades. I mean, is he really going to go to game with this hand? Uh, opposite at most a passed hand across from them, kind of an aggressive bid by them and why the ace of hearts was an unexpected card and and honestly if you want to shock me folks if you want to shock me and i'm playing with you let me show you what you can do you can underlead a heart from ace doubleton <laughs> that would do it folks that would color me shocked and that's exactly what the robot does at the end here for some reason not that it made any difference but it's kind of a wacky hand can they make this sucker um i don't know yeah it says they can right so diamond to the king, we're off to a good start. Once they rough, we're good. They just needed to draw some trump, which they did do. They didn't draw to completion, though. And now, for some reason, they just 
they bamboozled themselves, right? So, so they're roughing with a with a good Trump, uh, and in this case, they're not really doing anything amazing for their side, right? They haven't set up any tricks. Um, they may be able to set up a diamond, as we discussed, but they don't really have more than one entry over there. So, at this point, it's just curtains for them, right? They can't really do anything because uh, the Queen of Clubs is going to lose, and now they're just in trouble, like they were. They have nothing in their hand to get rid of those hard losers. Um, so, more careful play they could make. Moral of the story is, folks. Guess who's playing that at the other table? Those darn robots. So it's going to be the same thing, I would guess. Unless we could defend better for down two. I don't know. Uh, one heart to us. Done. That's a non-best hand special, folks. A six count. One heart pass, one no trump pass, three hearts. All right. Ooh, what's three spades? I wonder. Cubid fit in hearts. Oh, interesting. This is a good way to treat this, folks. Um, they can't have spades, right? Because they didn't bid one spade over one heart. So this is a nice forward-going bid saying, hey, now that you bid three hearts... I don't just have a four heart call. I have a better than four heart call. I have a fit for hearts and I have a better hand. So nice little wrinkle by the robots there. Pay attention to that. Maybe pop that into your own system just for ease of use. All right, let's take a peek here. I mean, the three spade bid is certainly showing some sort of control, but I'm okay leading through that strength towards partner. The other possibility is the jack of diamonds here, maybe trying to get a rough. Um, I mean, that's not beyond the realm of possibility either if we're trying to be somewhat aggressive. Uh, who knows? It's a guess usually. Uh, I'm going to leave the ton of spades. Maybe we can get partner or rough over there. And the jack is not necessarily the card we want to see there. I mean, would rather see a low card. However, they could have queen jack tight, I suppose. Comes the ace of hearts, king of hearts. Okay. Hearts are breaking evenly for declare. They ace king queen sixth, I would guess. Eight of diamonds by partner. I wish we could take that to the bank to mean something. We have no idea. Here comes another spade. And it looks like Declare had three spades. Unless our partner was just false carding there. I guess we can exit a spade. We don't want to just, we could, could have let a diamond there as well, I suppose. But at this point, whatever they're going to do, they're going to do. And this is a non-best hand, boring hand, folks. You you just have to watch the robots do well against you, and that's fine, right? It's going to happen in a normal bridge game anyway. Sometimes the opponents are going to have cards. And very important, I had a lesson this morning uh, with uh, some of my private folks, and the, the super important thing to recognize in these spots is when you go minus like this, and who take a look at this next one. That'll be exciting tomorrow. Uh, when you go minus like this, you, you can't, conceive of this as a loss folks this is not a loss this is a hand that rates to make this many tricks and uh, it's possible i guess my partner could have held on to a diamond on this one but notice look it, it rates to make six that's what these little twos mean here i brought the robot in and i said hey what are we supposed to do on this hand or what's the normal result if you lead any of these cards and it's two over tricks folks so what this means is we went minus 480 oh we lost no no, you achieved par, or what we expect to be par, through normal bids by your other players that are playing this hand and scoring against you. You would expect them all to conceive of this exact contract and, of course, be successful for this number of tricks, right? If that's happening, that is just normal bridge, and you're getting your average score, and that's all we're looking for in these parts, folks, is our average results. All right, folks, that's it for day one, and that is... Not too exciting other than we beat one game and we played against another one where they made six. It looks like the opponents might be destined for game on this next one unless our partner has a big hand. Maybe we'll see some two-club opener by partner, but we know where we're starting this one tomorrow. Join me for the rest of this one then, folks. I'll see you then.